Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today I want to talk about something very important. And it's how and why many people can't see the true depth of narcissism in society. You see. One of the things I've said many times. And I too have to remind myself of this. To truly go on the journey of self-betterment. And that doesn't mean just looking at the good in my life. But that also means to self-reflect upon the bad. You see the one thing us empaths have is the ability to self-reflect. However. Sadly as I've said before. Even an empath can accidentally have a trait or two of their narcissist parent or parents. That can cause them trouble in their life. And these traits can be many things. But one of those things is not listening completely to what is being said. And taking the first few words or sentences or phrases. Or video titles. And thinking we know what is being said. No need to listen to the rest. How many times have you had a conversation with a narcissist in your life? And you could be paying them a compliment. But because they focused in on the first few words you started to say. And they think you are talking bad about them. You literally could be trying to pay them a compliment. But before you know it your golden child brother or sister is now screaming and hollering at you. Accusing you of saying something you didn't say. And meaning something you didn't mean. Well though we may be better at discerning and not allowing ourselves to act like this too. Doesn't mean we haven't done this before in the past. And this isn't the same thing as someone literally making fun of someone. Or giving a backhanded comment and then acting like nothing is wrong. We are talking about you explaining something and in that depth of the explanation. You aren't able to get two sentences in. And they have already twisted up what you are saying into something else. Something bad. When you were honestly trying to say something good. Well. Those that have survived narcissistic abuse can find themselves at times doing the same thing. If they read a video title that might make them think a certain way. When what they are thinking isn't the full scope of what is implied. Or they might hear a few words and because they aren't like that. They get triggered instead of looking at the fact they might not be like that. But society very well could be. But asking clarifying questions to find out more. You see the narcissist is supposed to be the one that can't hear reasons and points made. And they give their insulting comeback and then they storm out of the room not letting you try to reason out the situation. However. I've seen people that I know are decent people do this very. Same narcissistic act. And this goes to the ability to say. Hey wait. Yes. I was abused by my narcissist mother or narcissist father. So essentially I was raised by crazy people. So I might need to unlearn some things and I might need to learn some things. We all do. And this isn't telling and or calling anyone too sensitive. Because I can't stand that. Especially when someone is a jerk and underhandedly and backhandedly making fun of someone. But this is saying before you choose to believe what someone is saying. Listen to the entire message before you make up your mind. Because what they might be saying. Could very well be vastly different than what you assume it to be. So in my last video. That seemed to stir up some feathers. Or ruffle some feathers is a better way to say it. Wasn't something regarding just my personal experiences. But what is right in the face of everyone blatantly in society. But when someone. Especially some ladies. When they read the title. Women are brainwashed to desire criminals and psychopaths. Instead of reflecting for a moment. And saying. 
wait. I know I've been through hell with a narcissist man. And I don't want a criminal or bad person. My wants or desires might be vastly different than the masses. Especially if you are set apart by God. Being in this world not of it? Well I have news. Most people are of it. And we talk about it all the time here. That we are likely in the days of Noah. And none of us would be shocked if Christ showed back up here tomorrow. Just like he said he would in the end of the Bible. Why? Because the world was extremely wicked and evil then in the days of Noah. And it's evil and wicked now. So I have a question for you. How did this world get so wicked? How did the narcissist parent or parents you have do what they did to you and your siblings? How did the narcissist you married or dated do what they did to you? They did what they did through a series. A series of manipulations that were sometimes 100 chess moves ahead of your one checkers move. And I don't say that in a negative way towards you or me for that matter. Because I was in the same situations. But I say it because it's the truth. And the truth is if you want society to collapse. If you want men and women to be at odds with one another. There has to be decades upon decades of brainwashing in society. So much so. No one even knows they are being brainwashed. Look. There are videos right on this platform and on other platforms with women. Of all ages. Talking about how they want to divorce a nice kind. Hard working man. A man that has done no wrong to them. And a man they state for a fact they know he would give his life. To save hers. But she thinks it's empowering and the best thing a woman can do to leave such a man. Now here's the problem. These videos get millions upon millions of views. So much so they almost break the internet. And hundreds of thousands of views and comments that support and champion and cheer on their message. Now I still hold to the belief that narcissism is equal between men and women. However, depending on where you are at, the puppet masters have the men that can act like this. And in some places, namely the western world where women can act like this. And in this video, the message if you listen close enough is to warn both women and men. It's a wake up call. It's a wake up call to say for the ladies that are being pressured and brainwashed into this way of life. To self reflect and to know it's nothing but a lie from the devil. And for the men to not change or adapt to be with such a woman. As the Bible tells us to spending time with such a woman will bring us closer to the end of our lives. And I gave Tupac as an example. This wasn't yesterday. Tupac lost his life 27 years ago. And his time as a thoughtful kind humble man was even years before that. His story is not an isolated situation. It's common amongst men. Tupac wasn't corny or weird. He was super smart and thoughtful. But the more thoughtful and kind he was. The more he wasn't getting the results he wanted. But the minute he started to hang out with rough people. Dangerous people. And he started to dress and act like them. Women became stuck to him like glue. Now when some people say. This is in a woman's nature. I don't think this is exactly true. Keywords. Not exactly true. Yes. A woman wants a man that she can be safe with. And that can protect her. But when you are with gang members and dangerous people. Their life isn't safe. Let alone yours. Hence Tupac lost his life hanging out with such people. However. There was a type of man that was pushed. And yes I said pushed in society. Go and watch the movie Cinderella Man. It's a true story set in the 20s in the Great Depression. Russell Crowe's character was the type of man that was pushed in the 20s and 30s. A man that taught his children to not steal. No matter how poor you are to be honest and kind to others. But a strong protector at the same time. A man that isn't afraid to work. And that loves his wife. Now when you look at these old couples that survived and lived through eras like that. They warmly hug and kiss each other. As each other is all they know. Did narcissism exist back then? Yes. 
It sure did. But you had a lot easier of a chance of finding someone that cared about you. And the reason why is the societal narcissists didn't brainwash people into what they are today. However, they did if you want to call it brainwashing. Brainwashed people into love. Simply because they knew people worked harder if they had something to work harder for. And they needed society built. So this is why they pushed this narrative. But then once they had their base of society built. What happened? They stripped the men of their jobs and ability to support their families. They pumped harmful substances in the communities. And they started to really hit women hard with tons of marketing telling her that rebelling against the man in her house. Even if that man loved her was empowering and her right. Even if there was no problem at all. One thing I've mentioned before. Is one of the main people that worked for Cosmo magazine. Came clean as she felt bad. And said the magazine was nothing but brainwashing towards women to sell a narrative and an ideology and a lifestyle. Also they could break up the home. So they could sell all of these expensive products to women. This is something that this woman admitted. And what's one of the ways they did this? They did their best to make women. Maybe you didn't fall for it. But to make women feel like they were missing out. And that there was some sort of excitement out there they were missing. Most men. Even the handsome ones in their life at one time or another have been called boring even when they aren't. Why? The societal narcissists have pushed the message so darn long it's normal thinking for a great many women. Maybe not you. But for a great many. And as a result. Men want to do what they have to do to get these women back into their lives or to find another woman. And they go the root of the narcissist. Because that's the guy they see having all of the success. So the societal narcissists through this manipulation have gotten women to turn the way of the narcissist by way of making them feel like they are missing out. And they have gotten the men to go the way of the narcissist with the hopes of having any woman they can have to be in their lives. And what do you get when that happens? Evil. Evil. The days of Noah is produced. It's produced by a series of manipulations of all that do evil and all that love manipulating others. Think about something your narcissist mother or father said 20 years ago. Something you thought was dumb or meaningless. And 20 years later. You realized all of the depth to what they said and did. And how it played into this and that. Even the dumbest narcissist is playing chess. Something to think about. Well that's all I have for today. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.